Well, hello, Leo, and welcome to your forecast from the Gasmic Tarot. This is a general reading, love, money, career for the period beginning February 1st, because it is a general reading. May not resonate with all of you, so you might want to take a look at your moon sign and your rising sign as well. If this does resonate with you, if you want me to resonate with your energy and maybe have a message from spirit for you, uh, or if you um, want to claim the reading, throw a comment below. Hey, thanks again for pressing the like button and subscribing to the channel. Really appreciate that so YouTube can find us. We are a new channel. If this is your first time, know that we are channeling messages and energy directly from spirit. Okay. Uh, I have an army of spirits in my space and their energy is infused in the cards and is infused. Obviously, I'm channeling messages from them. I'm also getting some of your past loved ones in. Um, as a matter of fact, there's somebody's, uh, I'm going to say mom or grandmom, because she could be both, uh, for somebody who's guided to the video. So she used to make blankets, a lot of blankets, a lot of, um, she just, she just keeps showing me this blanket and this blanket and this blanket and this blanket. Um, I, she, I'm not been able, I'm not able to tell how long ago she passed. Uh, she just wants to say hello and she's figuring the blanket Reference will, because there were so many blankets, uh, will make sense to you. Oh, thanks, Spirit. So, hopefully it does as we put the cards together. All right. I have somebody's uncle here. And he's singing. Actually, he's got a pretty good voice. Mmm, delicious. Kind of a crooner-style voice. Oh, he's also singing to me something... He's singing crooning voice, and he's, but he's got a, such a good voice, he's also singing to me something country western. Uh, so I guess apparently he had a good range. Looks like he plays guitar, because it looks like to me in the song he's playing the guitar. So he played some kind of musical instrument. Maybe he was a singer of some sort, and he had a very wide range. Maybe he did weddings. Is that what I'm seeing here? All right. So anyway, he says hello. All right. All right, so for our lovely Leos, February 1st, what do we have? Oh, mighty spirits. What do we got? All right, we have the Ten of Rods. And we have this, the Ten of Rods, sorry. Can you guys see that? Yeah. We've got the Six of Swords. We've got the Knight of Rods. Knight of Pentacles, two knights, okay. We've got the Ace of Cups, very nice. And we have the Lovers, we'll start with those. So the Ten of Rods, this is about feeling overburdened. You're taking on too much, look at this guy, all right? He's carrying all this stuff, he's not carrying it very well, he can't really see where he's going. He can't see where he's going. Because this, because of all that he's taken on, all right. What um, this is a very stressed, very overburdened, very overwhelmed, okay, and not having a good time at the beginning of this period. Now, we've also got that six of swords, and the six of swords is about moving away from from. Um, situations or relationships and enjoying a period of peace. Okay, um, and you need peace. So it, it's not like you're breaking up with somebody. Uh, it's not like you're leaving the job, but, but you just got too much, too much. And so you need a bit of a rest, all right? And so spirit, and here's your homework, spirit is telling you to rest. Take, t excuse me, take time for yourself, even if it means shutting your phone off and taking a bubble bath or something, you know? Even if it means taking a time out, no phone, no internet, nothing, no distraction, and just walking in a park by yourself with a mask if you're near, if you pass people, but of course in a park. So if you do that, this homework is pretty easy for you this week. You've got the Knight of Rods, and the Knight of Rods is about any blocks to progress on, uh, on the uh, love of relationship front or maybe... Uh, home front and, and work front, 
are being, all these blocks are being, the, the progress are being lifted. You know, we also have two nights and two nights is about friendship. So you, you, you know, you may be working on either it's a new friendship or solidifying and rekindling an existing friendship um, with somebody. So good for you. Uh, at this point, we do need, we all need friends. You know, this is what binds us together right now. And uh, so it's, it's very important to be able to nurture that friendship. Okay, so we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. And the Knight of Pentacles is about financial improvement. It's also about um, potential new partners or solidifying an existing partnership. It's also about looking for a new home. Some of you are going to be looking or are looking for a new home. And maybe you've had some problems with uh, finding the right place for the right price and then not having and having that actual home be available for you. Okay. Um, maybe you're moving into a new home in the re in this this period. Because I'm seeing all these wonderful things because you've got the Ace of Cups and that's about gifts from the universe. It's about new beginnings, a fertile period of your life. Fertile may be pregnant, but fertile also could be. Uh, it also applies to creativity, growth, spiritual growth, entrepreneurial growth. Mm -hmm. So growth in that work sector uh, if you have your own business. And then we get to the, to the lover's card, and that's about peace and harmony. It could be about marriage and the lover's. But it also could be the dream home. For those of you looking for a home as you're moving maybe this week into that new home. It's about career choices uh, that are open to you and looking beyond the money. What's going to make you happy? All right. And I see, Leo, you are victorious. Okay. This is about victory. This is about good news on all parts of your life. For those of you in new relationships, maybe you're declaring your feelings. So lots of great stuff for you, all right? All you need to do is get that feeling of being overwhelmed out of your space. Everything opens up. So what do we have for the card? We have choosing peace, and this is uh, Yokodanda, okay? So when we choose peace, peace over the negative emotions. Do you know how many, there's an earth A and earth B that, that we're going to talk about right now because I think you guys are ready. All right. So an earth A are all the people that are angry. They're fear, they're, they're living in fear-based emotions, despair, anger, sadness, worry, self-righteousness, hope is getting closer to where we want to be. Courage is I'm afraid and I do it anyway. Rage, you know, those are not emotions of the new earth, okay? And it's not like the new earth is a different place. It's just a different vibration in the same dimension. For example, the, the world that we experience on earth B is peace, love, joy, harmony. Uh, it is standing in front of this beautiful fragrant bush. I was the other day, I was, I was looking at something and this hummingbird came up inches from me and was doing his little thing on the bush and someone else is about 30 feet away from me and they're watching this and I'm just sitting there smiling and about a minute and a half later the hummingbird left and the person came over to me she goes I've never seen that in my life a wild hummingbird just fly up right with you right there and just stay there and I'm like it was my gift. It was my gift for the day. So when you are vibrating peace, love, joy, harmony, uh, deliciousness, you know, find the little gasm in that sip of coffee. Find the gasm in, in, in looking at your dog sleeping and snoring. I mean, <laughs> you know, if you can do that and bring that vibration up, you're an earth bee. An earth bee's existence is a lot, is, is about that. It's not about violence here or violence there. You know, yes, we, we try to stay in tune to the news, but we don't watch it 24-7 like a lot of people because I don't want to have all that negative energy in my space. I will find out what's going on, and then I choose to 
not allow it to emotionally impact me in a negative way. I may pray for those who are injured. I may, uh, but I, you know, but I do not feel like a victim because of a piece of news that's on television. I hope you see where I'm going with that. Okay, so we also have got, as I said, if you can can do your homework this week and rise into that vibration for Earth B, you're talking about new beginnings, you're talking about uh, great, in all aspects of your life, peace and harmony in the work, in the, in the home, you know, great things in the business and victory. So you can do your homework or choose not to. You can uh, write a nasty comment, which I've had a few of, saying they don't believe in any of this. And of course, you can choose to go look at someone else's uh, tarot reading, but they won't have direct messages from spirit. So it's up to you. Uh, we do love you, Leo, seriously. And we only want the best for you. So if you do a little homework, you know nothing in life comes for free, but it doesn't have to be difficult to obtain. Okay, take care, guys, and uh, thanks again for liking and subscribing.